Can I get you anything? Look who it is. I feel that once again you're not here to support my business. I'm looking for a woman who comes here. She always wears a long green coat. Yes, I have seen this coat before. But I have no idea who is beneath it, if that's what you're asking. All I know is that I've seen her speaking to a regular, a steward of the palace who comes to place big orders. Always prime choice. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously. Even though I would prefer it wasn't the case. He's a sort of... organizer. He captures most of the beasts who fight in the arena. How is that a problem? Apparently, he's fixed a few fights. These kind of rumors aren't good for my business. If that's the case, why don't you stop him? He has friends, protectors. Without solid evidence, no one will lift a finger. And the only ones who wanted to speak of his cartel have disappeared. Do you know where I can find him? He often hangs out around the port at night, but I strongly advise you to stay away from the guy. I know how to look after myself. Thanks for the information. I'm looking for someone. A woman wearing a big green coat. Yeah, I know who you mean. She's a good client. She comes in, especially for the big fights, and she has prime information. Do you know where I can find her? No, I don't even know her name. She wouldn't happen to be coming back to collect some winnings, would she? No, and I can't really tell you when she'll show up next. I must be going. Next time, then. Can I help you? Yes, actually. I have a small favour to ask. You don't look like you need money from me. I'll get straight to the point. I have bad news for you. I know about the... the decadent parties at the palace. I know that you take part in them. What? But... <laughs> what are you talking about? Stop acting all innocent. I have all the evidence I need to incriminate you. Although your reputation isn't spotless, there are others who have a lot more at stake than you. What if I were to spread it around town that you boast about being there? You know what happens when tongues wag too much. That's enough! All right, all right, I get the message. What do you want? It would appear that you know the Mother Cardinal very well. I know that she borrowed money from you. I even know how much. What I want to know is why. <laughs> I have no idea. Do you really think that my clients tell me everything about their lives? Does she still owe you money? No, she always pays me back on time, and with interest. Do you think she's plundering the city funds? Ha! <laughs> if that were the case, the funds would have been depleted long ago. Nah, the money's coming from elsewhere. Tell me about Candy Cane. We're not close, if that's what you want to know. I just know his name, like everyone else. I mean, there are some rumours... They say he does his business in the basement of the Coin Tavern. What kind of business? Oh, nothing to do with my line of business. He deals in arena fights, which are beyond me. I would advise you to keep all of this to yourself. <laughs> I, I don't want any trouble. I will be as silent as a stone. So, how do you see things, my child? I think that the usurer is lending money to the Cardinal and very significant sums at that. With this money, she bets on the arena fights while hiding in a big green coat. And she also gives large amounts to a certain candy cane, known for fixing fights. Not only does our dear Cornelia love betting games, but she also wouldn't think twice about cheating to win. Maybe he's just giving her advice. How can we prove anything? We can always try asking him. Who knows? Perhaps he will give us an answer. Here. At least not yet. Remember, my child, the bookmaker told us that he hangs around here at night. That's true. You're right. Let's come back later.
Good day, Desade. How can I help you? I met the representative of the Ordo Luminous, and he spoke of his fears concerning the Noughts. That hardly surprises me. That man is full of pride and arrogance, and sees evil wherever he gazes. And that bishop is not made of milk and kindness, but his questions are intriguing. He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> and how? Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. Do you use a magic very similar to that of the natives? I have nothing more to say about it. Those are merely the fantasies of a lunatic. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The Commander will probably not tell us anything more about the Nort's secrets, but the documents at the Harbour Master's office may teach us something new, if we can stay discreet. This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way we'll know exactly what the Noughts are hiding from us. I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. Mm. Nothing magic nor impure therein. They're nothing but measuring instruments. Uh, these machines are extremely complex. I've never seen anything like this. Oh. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. And that? It looks like a thermometer. And this other machine? Does it really predict the weather? These instruments are incredible and I would be hard pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here. Nor anything diabolical. For as long as they work and are really used, these instruments seem to be the product of science. And I've definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a secret sect or cult. <sighs> this Domitius has let his imagination and the taste of naught secrets get the best of him. Now our priority is to discover what this great purification is.
We must meet with the Mother Cardinal urgently. Only she can put an end to this madness. Yes? I would like to have an audience with the Mother Cardinal to discuss the discoveries made during our investigation. What is this about, Domitius? Well, I don't rightly know. You see, Eminence, Bishop Domitius has brought to my ears his order's accusations concerning the Noughts. According to him, they practice a religion close to those of the natives and use a nature-drawn magic. They would also be implicated, therefore, in the appearance of the Malachor. That is an extremely serious accusation. Effectively, considering the accusation is founded on no proof other than the Nort's tradition of secrecy. But these suspicions have pushed the Order to extreme actions, risking the fragile peace of the island. The Ordo Luminous captured several Noughts, locked them in jails rented to them by the Coin Guard. They were tortured with the singular goal of forcing them to admit heresy. They obtained nothing. If I had not intervened, these men would be dead. Is this true, Domitius? Some of our brothers undoubtedly misinterpreted the evil. I would have never allowed such a plan. These noughts are now united with their captain, and I am certain they would be most eager to bear testimony. Following up on the accusations of Bishop Domitius, I wanted to verify for myself what this was all about. I went to take a look at their storerooms and saw what they contained. There were neither idols nor objects of any ritual nor even anything magical, and absolutely nothing that could be attributed to the origin of the Malachor. I found nothing but measuring instruments and diverse navigational machines. I caught wind of a ridiculous scheme planned for the port by the Ordo Luminous, and I wanted to clear it up. I was able to get my hand on documents that effectively detailed an attack, a great purification. They were signed by you, Father, and included a contract where you enlisted the assistance of the Coin Guard to attack every Nort building and make prisoner of every one of their men that could be taken alive. Domitius, how could you? Whatever did you want to accomplish? The Noughts are not believers. We should not be dependent on heretics. Have you gone completely mad, Domitius? We are on an island. How could we not be dependent on the Noughts? I want them arrested. Him and every member of his order. I will decide at a later time their fate. I thank you for bringing this business to my attention. Going after the Noughts. What madness. Without you, this city would now be drowning in chaos. Carry my best wishes to your cousin. His desire to maintain the peace on the island honors his house's reputation. I will tell him, Your Eminence, until we meet again. Good evening. Are you the one they call Candy Cane? Who are you? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. A legate, no less. I imagine in these cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman and that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you... You'd be better off forgetting that. 
That's not exactly the response I'd imagined, but nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. I told you to forget about it, or you'll soon run into trouble. Leggett or no Leggett. Come on, it was just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. Kane. Bye, and Godspeed. We have enough information. Really? Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father. Place. My mother told me about this place. She said that the village was devoured by the houses of the sons. How could the chief accept this? All that's left to do is to find Father Eustinius. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith harmony and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. Desade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Justinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She supervises the theologians who discovered them, and were also guarding them. You should find her a bit further in the village, with her colleagues. Who are the suspects of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. How could they have learned of the tablet's existence? Ah, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently mentioned them. They are so naive. Either way, I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the Enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I wonder how my people could accept the priests settling in their home like this. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, Maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft of the relic is probably not a coincidence. Hello. The Mother Cardinal asked me to help you find the tablets that were stolen. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have a lot to do. I talked to Father Eustinius. He told me that you were supervising the theologians here. Indeed. It is under my supervision that the research on St. Matthias is conducted. Whom do you suspect of being the thief? Oh, alas. I'm afraid there are many suspects. These tablets are priceless relics. Some settlers may have fallen prey to the lure of profit. The heretical natives of Vedlug may have wanted to take them away from us. Or it could have been vengeance by those who had to leave the village. Where were the tablets the night they were stolen? We were keeping them in one of the village's shacks. We intended to bring them to San Mateus later. But first, we wanted to examine them in order to obtain as much information as possible. You can go and take a look in the shack if you want to. But I couldn't find any traces of forced entry. I imagine someone was keeping watch over them. Of course, we took turns guarding the shack. But some of us can't have taken the task that seriously. If I remember correctly, 
It was Brother Virgil who was guarding them that night. Well, thank you for these pieces of information. I am the one who should be thanking you. Especially if you manage to retrieve the tablets for us. Thank you. I will let you work. Greetings, Desarde. I am handling the investigation into the theft of the tablets. Sister Eugenia told me to talk to you. I'm Brother Virgil. What would you like to know? According to your colleague, you were the one in charge of guarding the tablets on the night of the theft. Is that right? Indeed. What can you tell me about that night? Did you hear or see anything? No, nothing in particular. The night was quiet, and then the morning after, we saw they were gone. Someone had to enter the shack to steal the tablets. How did that happen? I have no idea. The door was closed in the morning, and the lock was intact. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Not really. What I can tell you for sure is it is not one of us. Well, Sister Eugenia did tell me that the tablets were priceless. Of course. But our motivation is not the lure of profit. All that matters to us is their value as proof, not the money we could make out of them. Do you think the culprit could be a native? Well, since none of us did it, it seems obvious. There aren't many other settlers around here. And the natives knew of the existence of these tablets before we found them. They were attached to them too, in their own way. They are the ones who led you to them. Well, we conducted the research, but they helped us find where they were hidden. Some inhabitants of the village are still giving us a hand with our work. Well, thank you. I will investigate where the theft took place. As you wish. But you won't find anything there. And why does it matter, anyway? There were witnesses to the discovery of these tablets. We have all the proof we need. And that's all that matters. What do you mean? Now we can prove Saint Matthias lived here. Our actions on this island are justified. To keep rummaging the way Sister Eugenia does will only create more tensions with the natives. I was not expecting a theologian to say such things. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. There is only one entrance and the door shows no evidence of a break-in. This priest, Virgil, said that the night was calm. So calm that he probably fell asleep. So, the thieves only had to take the key from him. It's very likely that that's what happened. But someone must have informed them. It can't be a coincidence that they decided to steal it during the watch of the only neglectful guard. You think that the one who told them is in this village? We know that this theft could be an act of vengeance by the natives who were forced to leave here. They must still have allies in the village, family or friends. We should go talk to the chief of the natives. He will certainly know who is close to the exiles, and enough about the researchers to inform them. Hello. I am Lair, the village leader. Well, I was the leader of this village. Hello. De Sade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. There are on all Manawi among the Logaid Blau. I did not know that. What do you want from me? I've heard a lot of things about this village of Eden, but I'd like to hear your version. Hmm. I'm not sure Roy have the answers to all of your questions, but I'll try. Tell me about the arrival of the people of Teleme, and how you received them. The priests were roaming around the village. They were saying that it was the place where their saint had lived. They were asking questions. 
talking about the Lloyd and all these things. One morning they were building houses next to ours. And we had new neighbors. The priests told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them. They were violent, and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. So we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget our spirits. One of the theologians told me that you would help them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything, because the old sage is sacred here. But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones were. What happened to your warriors? Why did they have to leave the village? They did not accept the presence of the priests and their questions. They tried to retake the village. They even asked Derdra, the chief of Vedlug, for her help. So, the priests called the soul Lasse, the Burning Sons, and they killed many of them. Oi asked for peace. And the others left us. They wanted to join Vedlug. Perhaps they have done so. Aren't you angry after all that happened? No. I mourn those who died, of course. And the Vorstirent. But this village may be our opportunity. Your opportunity for what? For the Renaixe to understand who we are. Not savages, nor monsters, but men, perhaps wiser than they are. I have to go. Like so many others. Father. I'm glad to see you, my child. What can I do for you? Tell me about how you created this village. We did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. The islanders called it Vigsenegad, which translates to the village of the old sage. Huh. We saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of Saint Matthäus. And everything here fit the description of St. Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So, we decided to rebuild our Eden here, in the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the Enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. Hello, brother. Oh, Desade, is that you? Do you need anything? Have you been in Eden for a long time? Two months, approximately. Back then, there were still some pagan natives in the village. I joined Sister Eugenia's team with some of my colleagues, so we could give them a fresh outlook on things. We arrived straight from Teleme, hoping to study some new texts. But once we were here, I understood that my real mission was with the Islanders. We must bring the light to this island. You talked about a mission with the natives. What did you mean by that? I may be under the command of Sister Eugenia here, but my superior is Bishop Domitius. Our mission is to banish pagan cults and convert the entire population to the light. The island belongs to St. Matthias, and therefore to Teleme, since the God of Light offered it to our founder. If your superior's Domitius, 
You are a member of the Ordo Luminous. I did not expect to find one of its members side by side with the missionaries. They usually do not get along. The Order goes everywhere. The light needs to be revealed. You have a very unique way of seeing things. I doubt everyone accepts it. How are your relations with the natives? When I arrived, we were still trying to obtain information from them about Saint Matthias. But they were very reluctant to give us any answers. We were also trying to educate them. Our attempts eventually made some of the inhabitants of the village react badly. Most stubborn against our teachings, the warriors and the marked. The ones the natives call the Onomanawi. They eventually left and it has proved nothing but a blessing for us. I would like to go back to work now, if you don't mind. Of course. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have a lot to do. The Mother Cardinal told me that this village had been developed on the basis of St. Lucius's writings. Are you one of the theologians who helped in its creation? Yes. I was sent here to confirm that this place is indeed the one described in the writings, and then I stayed. What was the reaction of the natives when you arrived here? Most of them were not in favor of us living amongst them. They were afraid we might chase them out of their own village. And there were even more protests once we started talking about searching for traces of Saint Matthias. I suppose they thought we would destroy all of their raised stones and other places of superstition. Were there any confrontations with the natives? Yes. The warriors of the village attacked us. The Ordo Luminous actually had to intervene. The Inquisition managed to make them run away. The islanders tried to attack again with the support of Vedlug, but we stood our ground. And when Lur, the chief of the village, finally accepted our presence, Things calmed down. Thank you. This information will certainly prove to be useful. Thank you. I will let you work. I knew that the story would be more complex than we'd been told. The priests separated this village into two parts. The exiles must be broken-hearted, having left their clan behind. Had they been wiser and accepted their new neighbors, they'd never have been forced to leave. Either way, the resentment here is strong enough for a theft to occur. You have returned on all Manawi. Do you need something else? I think I know who stole the tablets. Really? I believe those who were exiled from your village seek vengeance because the missionaries forced them to leave. They must have taken the tablets with the help of someone else who stayed here. You may be right, but you may also be wrong. You do well to tell me what you know. Once the priests have reached the same conclusions as I have, how do you think they will interrogate you? You're probably right. The Inquisitors would come back, and my people would suffer. I do not want to break the peace that I did all I could to make. I think the name of the woman you are looking for is Vindwal. She helps the priests who seek the old sage. If she's helping the priests, why would she betray them now? Her son is one of the warriors who had to leave the village. He is filled with anger and fury. If you go talk to her, please do not hurt her. She is but a mother who acted according to her son's wishes. I have no intention of hurting her, but things may not be so simple when it comes to her son. I have to go. Like so many others. Greetings. Are you Vindwa? Bertia Tumad. Yes, that is me. What do you want? Listen, I know you helped the exiles to steal the tablets of Saint Matthias. No, this is not true. It wasn't me. There's no point in denying it. I know you did it for your son who had to leave the village. If you know that, then you know that I don't have the tablets. So what do you want from me? 
The only means of alleviating the situation with Teleme is to give the priests their tablets back. So, if you don't want your son to suffer their wrath, it would be best if I could retrieve them discreetly. Uh, Bran and the rest of the Exoils are hiding in the woods, beyond the Stone Circle. If you want to take the tablets away from them without being seen, do not take the part on the left. It is riddled with traps. And please, do not hurt my son. Well indicated. The exiles must be near. These people have been banished already. There's no need to add death to their list of punishments. Let's try not to fight them. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. Remember that we were told the area on the left was a trap. It would be smarter to take the other path. Do it! What are you doing here? I'm not here to fight you, but I must retrieve the tablets of Saint Matthias. What? How do you know we have them? And how? Not for thee. We will not give them back! We lost our homes and families, so the priests lose their sacred stones. I know that you are seeking vengeance, but the priests will not be the only ones to suffer the consequences of your actions. Your mother helped you, and once they find out about it, she will pay the price in your place. Is that what you want? No. She only told us which night we could come. They have no right to punish her for this. I doubt the Ordo Luminous will care. They will need someone to take the blame, and she's the obvious choice. Very well. Take the stones and leave. All that's left to do is to rejoin the Donea Exregal. What are you doing here? Oh, he was worried for my son. Oh, he wanted to make sure that everything was fine. Don't worry, all is well. I managed to convince him to give me the tablet. Adlor Edar. Oh, he did not believe my son to be so reasonable. You are giving me hope. Oh, he will go see him and tell him to find another clan. A place to welcome him. I retrieved your relics. Thank you. Thank you immensely. Thanks to them, we will be able to continue our research on St. Matthias. I am curious to know who is responsible for this theft. The culprit must be brought to justice. I do not want to point the finger at anyone. You have your relics back and that's the only thing that matters. Your indulgence honors you. But how can we be certain that these thieves will not strike again if they are not punished? A good start would be to keep a better watch on the priceless treasures that you find. Had you respected this village, you would not have to look for a culprit. You settled here without even asking those who lived here for their opinion on the matter. Instead of talking about harmony, start taking action to really make it happen. But that is precisely what we desire more than anything. Oh, we may have been a bit clumsy in the beginning, but we'll make sure to improve things in the future. You really were a great help. I would be most grateful if you agreed to continue helping us. I might come back at some point, but alas, I'm very busy. Naturally. Either way, we are certainly capable of continuing our research without you. Actually, I must go back to my work. Our next expedition must depart as soon as possible. Your next expedition? Our brave researchers must continue to follow the tracks of our founder on this island. In the meantime, here. Take this as a token of gratitude for the help you gave us. Thank you. I hope your expedition will be a success. Ah! Oh, you are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. Father Petrus, is that really you? What are you doing here? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. 
Their chief and their priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps, although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burd tir du mud, renaixe. Oi and the donegad. Yes. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But. It is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Qua Awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. Dear Tumad, on all Menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an on all Menawi that you are different from the other Renaixe. What do you seek? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything, and that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect, all that surrounds us, and that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your rituals? Ah, oh, you have heard this question before. You sound like the Mind Shaker woman. The rituals are the business of the Donegada, not of the Renoixe. Anything more? Concerning this story about a cult. Enough! Enough questions. I have nothing more to say. Leave me be! Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace! Can't you leave us alone, Munsenaig? Traitor. An Anol Menawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Uh, 
ארנאיקסי יטויגן, כוחסא דה אלודייס, סמל מילה, מחדהו אגנדר. ברטיר טו מאדרנאיקסי. גודאי. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it's the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene. A grand city on the continent of Gekane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. Your village seems different than the others. Why is that? Each village is different than the others. It is the reflection of those who live in it and of all that surrounds it. Verlug is the village of the lightning struck wood in your language. Why do you call it that? It is said that there was once a great fire that burned all the surrounding woods caused by a storm. But one tree that burns nourishes a new tree, greener and stronger than before the forest returns. We are like her. Even wounded we rise again, stronger than we were before. Our warriors are known for this by all clans. They fear us. Let's try something else. Are you on all Menawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I'm not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. Could you tell me more about your beliefs? What a strange question. I don't believe. I know. Nature is alive. A forest is like a village. Every river, every rock, every beast, the land itself, all live, all speak to us. In exchange for these gifts, we honor her, give her our dead. This is the way of things. We do everything in our power to protect her. It was fun. More than with the woman who makes light. She did not want to play. Do you want something? Enough questions. Birtir to Mad, Anal Manawi. What do you want? This question will seem strange to you, but do you know anything about a demon? A demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. You're different from the others. What is your role in the village? Different? Why? Well... For one, you answer me when I speak. You others, when we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead, in the rain that quenches us and drowns us, in the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. 
They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. I must leave now. Thank you for your help.